Good morning, YouTube. So it is about 6, maybe 6.15 a.m. and I am on my way to the gym. It is still nice and dark outside. Um, so I'm taking my little walk to the gym. Uh, headed there for not kind of a full leg day. I'm doing two leg days with my coach and then this will be my third where I'm just focusing on hamstrings and glutes. Just basically doing heavy hamstring curls, uh, a few other things. So. Um, I'll take you with you with me, show you what I'm doing. I'm going to start with some just basic uh, glute activation exercises. Sorry it's so dark. Um, so I will take you with me in there and show you what I'm doing today. the night with a little bit of a sweet potato. I just smushed it up on a plate. I went to about two ounces and then I just sprinkle it with uh, cinnamon and some Truvia for a little bit of sweetness. And then I am meal prepping lunch for tomorrow. So I don't do like a whole week's of meal prep, um, but I have cooked up a bunch of rice, green beans, and chicken. So it makes it really easy. I just cook a bunch of that at once. And then I have a food scale so I can just measure it out. So I'll just measure out about a half a cup of rice, about a half a cup of green beans, and probably about three ounces of chicken. Um, and then that'll be lunch for tomorrow. So that makes meal prepping really easy. Uh, I also, since this is sitting here, I am taking this right now for bed, it's ZMA, which is um, good for recovery and helps you to sleep well. Good morning, friends. So it's Sunday morning. Um, I'm headed out for the day. I'm going to church. Um, and I have a meeting after church, so I am prepping food so that I can be that girl, that kind of awkward person bringing their own food, but that's what you gotta do on bikini prep. So I have made, <clears throat> if you can see, it's basically, it's chicken and um, frozen peppers and onions, and then underneath there is baked potato. Um, and, I know, kind of random, but, and so it's just, flavored with uh, just herbs, no no salt, um, just salt-free seasonings. And then I'm just gonna add a tiny bit, like about an ounce of plain non-fat Greek yogurt as like a sour cream substitute. So probably sounds super random, but I made the other night, I made a baked potato and then filled it with chicken and peppers and topped it with sour cream. So that's basically what this is, uh, same thing. So Greek yogurt is a great substitute for sour cream. Um, much healthier, much better for you if you want to try that. Tastes pretty much the same. Uh, and then also I got a package uh, that I am going to open with you. So <clears throat> a fuel shaker, 
sent me one of their shakers to try. Um, I've done a lot of, or I've done a review before of the Smart Shaker, and I love that brand and I love their shakers. But we're gonna try this one. So, super exciting. Get actual mail, get presents in the mail. All right. So, here it is. Don't know anything about these. So it has a twist off top that's attached to it. Um, and a spout, not like your, it's a little bit smaller than a normal protein shaker. Um, that twists off. All right, so then it's got, this is the bottom portion of it. So it looks kind of like a, a blender. And on the bottom, there's like a little, it's a button. Can't really tell very easily that it's a button. But if you press that, it pushes out this part. So the really cool thing about this is that basically what you do, there's then like this little cup in here. So what you do is I'm gonna put in some BCAAs. So those go in there. And then this thingy, uh, goes back inside. Um, so I tend to use my protein shakers not just for protein, but for branched-chain amino acids to drink them throughout the day. Um, so that's what I did with this. So just put that in there, which is really cool about this and what I like about shakers that have like a cup that attaches on the bottom or something on the top, a different attachment, where you can put supplements into it so that um, if you want them like post-workout and just want to have water during your workout, then you can add them in like on your way home, um, you can put protein in there and you don't have to carry 50 different bottles and containers. So I love protein shakers that have some sort of attachment that you can put in different supplements um, to make it a lot easier um, during the day and when you go to the gym to keep different things with you. So I'm gonna add some water in here. Uh, it's a 20 ounce container uh, and it has measuring lines on there so it'll show you can't really see it but it says 10 ounces <coughs> 10 ounces 20 ounces so it shows you how much is in there and then what's really fun about this one um, so you screw <laughs> screw on the top <coughs> and then the button so you could just have water in here throughout the day and then when you're ready for the branched chain amino acids or protein or whatever is in there rather than have to unscrew it and dump it in and um, spill powder, which I often do. Uh, you just press this button, which I've never done before, so there we go. And it releases, you can kind of see, it releases that little uh, cap that was screwed in along with everything that was in the container. So then it works as like a little shaker, like are in a lot of shaker cups. And then you're ready to go. Um, so you don't have to unscrew anything. It keeps it secure in there. And then that little thing releases as a shaker. So pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to use this today and see how it goes. But um, I really like that design. Super fancy. Um, so again, this is the uh, Fuel Shaker Pro. I know they have a few different models of the Fuel Shaker. So that's what this one is. Um, so if, I think it's uh, fuelshaker.com, I'll add the link here so you can check those, those out if you want to buy one.